Hello, it is Sam with Bulldog Gruder. Today's date is November 10th, 2016. Right now I'm doing a video inspection of 8321 uh, East Knox Avenue in Spokane Valley. And uh, this is the second time I've been out here. And this is the second video inspection I've done for this line. So, what we did is we had to cable this line out through the crawl space. This is the end of the sewer line where it connects to the city sewer, what we were looking at before. You can see that, uh, we're in 4 inch wide PVC right now. PVC itself is in pretty good condition. Um, you can see water's flowing by this thing beautifully. I don't see any cracks in the line at all or anything bumping up. Realistically, the issues with this pipe uh, is mostly if it's installed improperly or uh, if something's laid on top of it afterwards, bedded on top of it, or if there's rocks in it or anything like that. So it's most likely going to cause issues, any cracks or breaks. Um, so far, I'm really not seeing anything too major, or anything at all, really. Uh, stuff is definitely flowing out pretty easily. The line itself is actually pretty long. It's about 120 feet. Right now, we're coming up on the 90-foot mark. The main issue uh, with this line backing up is definitely not the PVC. While I'm kind of rushing through it, but uh, you know, everything's still definitely looking pretty good. You kind of see some swirl marks from where my cable was when we cabled this guy out. We went 120 feet out, so about the same length as the pipe. Coming up on the 70 foot mark. So yeah, still no cracks or separations or anything too crazy with this white PVC pipe. It's pretty good uh, stuff. It's kind of some stuff we're like some stuff we're installing nowadays. Not really seeing too many issues with this line at all. Looks like we're coming up on a turn here, about 40 feet out from the roof vent, which is where I did the video inspection today. Looks like we go around a little turn right here. It looks like we're in just a tiny little bit of standing water. Uh, what this means is just this water right here is uh, this part of the pipe is actually back rated. So it's going uphill. Um, it's a very small amount of water. I'd say maybe about a quarter of an inch to half an inch. The uh, width of the head of my camera is an inch and a half. So that's kind of what I'm gauging it off of. So right here um, is definitely one of the main issues. You can see how my camera definitely, you know, pops up to go through this section. And as I go through it, it pops down. What we're looking at right there is just a pretty big separation. The PVC itself, where it's connected, is actually cracked. You can see it kind of up in the top right-hand corner of the screen there. Let me see if I can get some of that water to wash off my lens a bit. And then that whole top part of the pipe is uh, just root-bound really really root bound it looks like I was able to clean that joint up pretty well um, but yeah realistically this is going to be where most of the problems are going to be occurring and one other spot which we haven't run into yet but I'll show you that here in a second um, yeah the main issue with this is just it's completely offset and uh, it's crafted one part it is technically stair stepping down but if there's roots right there which we just cut out um, going down in that pipe stuff is going to be catching on that real easily And then right here is our other problem child. Uh, we switched from that PVC to cast iron right there. That's that connection. 
that PVC is fine pretty much all the way out, so all the issues are right here. And when I cabled earlier today, it was around the 20 foot mark, uh, is where this line actually popped open. I could hear all the water drain down and all that stuff. So right here, there's a hole in the cast iron. Uh, kind of the top left hand corner of the screen right there, I understand it's a little blurry, it's kind of from sewer gas smells, or uh, sewer gases and whatnot. You can see there's roots there on the right hand side. And it's going all the way up and coming actually out of the top of the pipe. Uh, realistically, what I suggest is to either get this cast iron and hub uh, fixed, uh, dug up and fixed. This cast iron is going to be inside the crawl space, and I will end up locating this this other spot right over here where the cast iron connects to the PVC, in hopes that it's outside. It makes it a little bit easier. So, right here is where we uh, come out of the roof vent and actually go into the sewer line right there. So that's the sewer line. You'll see that we bend up, come up, and here's our roof vent. And it's really hard to see just because there's water on the end of my cable now. So I'll give it a wipe off once we finish coming up this vent right here. And right there is our roof vent. And once again, this is Sam with Bulldog Rooter, and that was your video inspection. Thank you.